Do ship customers tip poorly? If you guys are on the fence about using Shipt as a gig app, then I highly suggest that you guys watch this video because today we're gonna to be putting that theory to the test. This is exactly what I would have wanted to watch whenever I started using Shipt because I was wondering the same question. Do ship customers tip poorly? All right, so you might be wondering why is this important? Well, gas prices are extremely expensive. And by the time you spend an hour shopping the groceries, driving 15 miles to a drop off, you're probably not gonna be making that much per hour. And that's where the tip comes into play because this helps out tremendously. This is the only way that this remains sustainable for people like me, our customer tips. So I appreciate you customers. Thank you so much. According to the internet, they suggest you tipping 5% of your grocery bill. So if you spend around $100, you should be tipping approximately $5. Just like the waitress should be tipped, we should be tipped as well. That's just how things work. Anyways, let's actually get into the numbers here. I have completed 133 orders on ship so far, and by no means am I flexing on you guys. Those are little numbers, I know, but it's finally enough to actually give you guys some good information that might be valuable to you, or I hope. So I went through all 133 of my orders just to figure out how many people haven't tipped. And only 17 people out of 133 people have not tipped me at all. Granted, some of these orders are pretty recent, like a couple days ago. So some of those people might be tipping in the future because literally some people tip like a month later. It's just, it's confusing and very hard to figure out how well you're doing on the app. The only downside is the fact that there's no restraint on when a customer tips. So. It's really hard to tell how much you made in a day because you might not know for up to a month. On average, you should be looking at 90% of your customers tipping, and that is in my market in San Antonio. So your market might be different, and I'm really hopeful that this is a decent average for across the nation because I'm not in a crazy wealthy area and I'm not in a very poor area. Now, in regards if these are generous tips, I would say yes. All right, let's uh, cue the little reel of my first couple of days using this platform. I think it'll give you a good idea of what the average tip is, and you'll also see some very generous tips in here. Yeah, a lot of these tips are very nice. And you guys have to keep in mind with Shipt, the base pay is way higher than Instacart. So if someone tips you $20 on Shipt, it might be a $37 order, whereas on Instacart, it'd only be like 27. The only downside about this company is the fact that you might be shopping for someone that won't tip you. Instacart, it's really easy. If you see a $7 order, don't take it because the customer is not tipping. They might be tipping in person, but it's not worth the risk because there are a ton of people out there that just don't feel the need to tip. And with Ship, this could be a big risk because say you do a huge order that takes you an hour to shop or something like that, you're still running the risk of delivering to a person that doesn't appreciate your service and won't tip you. It's the only downside, but you guys have to look at the numbers. 90% of the shipped customers do tip and I think that makes this worth it. You have people that will tip you extremely generously and you have people that won't tip you at all. And in the end, it kind of averages somewhere in the middle and I think it's still a very good average hourly rate even with these no tippers. These are just some of the things that you can't avoid with the app Shipped. And at the end of the day, Shipped happens.